Hey guys, this is Justin with Ready Business Systems and I just wanted to show you the automated estimate follow-up automation. So basically, you know, normally you send an estimate and you have to remember to call to follow up on it because most people aren't going to get back to you after you send it right away. And if you don't follow up on it, you're going to lose a lot of business. So basically the purpose of this automation is to make sure that we get an answer whether it's yes or no on the proposal we want to hear it from the customer. So this process right here is triggered once an estimate is sent. So basically it's going to remove this waiting on estimate tag. The waiting on estimate tag is set when we first get a lead just letting them know that we got their that we'll get back to them in five day, within five days that we got their estimate request and it'll keep texting them and emailing them periodically just to remind them we, that we didn't forget about them. So basically once we sent the estimate, we don't want to keep reminding them that we're going to send them an estimate. So that's the purpose of this. Um, so the first thing that's going to happen is that the, um, the lead is going to get a text letting them know that their proposal got emailed, check their inbox. Uh, two days later, it's going, if they still haven't uh, accepted the estimate or marked it lost. Uh, they're going to get a text following up on it again. Um, then they're also going to get an email following up on the proposal depending on which uh, which medium they check. It's going to wait a day and then we're going to call them to follow up on the proposal to ask them if they have any questions, if they want to move forward with it or not. It's going to wait two more days. It's going to follow up on them again, follow up with them again. Um, and then it's going to text them again a day later. It's going to email them again three days later. And then finally, it's going to tell them uh, to, it's going to text them a final time and to do the office admin to call them a final time to, uh, to ask them if they want it done or not. If we don't hear from them at this point, you know, we've done our due diligence, it tells them to mark the estimate as lost. So this whole process will stop as soon as the estimate is marked one or lost. This whole thing will stop in its tracks because obviously we don't want to keep asking people if they want the work done if they already told us they do or don't. So basically once we mark the estimate as lost, if it's marked as one, there's a separate set of automations, but this one's marked as lost. Um, so if we mark an estimate as lost, it's going to send them an email. Uh, just telling them thank you for the opportunity to quit for your business. It's also basically another follow-up because it's telling them, you know, if the price quoted was a problem or you have a specific budget, let us know. It's kind of like a last resort reaching out to them to see if they want to book. Uh, this this automation here, Estimate Left as Draft, this was created because a lot of times we're noticing that when you have a lot of things going on, uh, multiple tabs open, writing a bunch of estimates at once in June or something, uh, we sometimes will write an estimate and forget and save it as a draft and not finish it. So basically this will wait four days and it'll just make it to do letting the person know that wrote it up. Hey, you know, you have this estimate you didn't finish, uh, you might want to finish it because we've had estimates that got lost that we discovered weeks later that we just forgot to send and you don't want that happening. Lastly, these three automations are follow-ups um, which delay by a certain number of days. So if during this process, you know, the customer texts back and says, hey, yeah, I just got to talk to my wife, give me a few days, or, you know, we're going to wait till after this bill, um, but we do want to move forward with the project. Uh, these automations here address those issues. So this one is a 10-day follow-up. Uh, this one waits until the spring the next year, and this one uh, waits 30 days. So basically, we don't want to keep hassling them after, you know, if they already got back to us, but we don't want to forget to get back to them either. So these tags will follow up. It'll wait 10 days, and then it'll basically follow the, the follow-up process again. And same with this, 30 days. So that's the uh, estimate follow-up automation. Um, I will go through more in my other videos. If you have any questions, comment here, or visit my website at readybusinesssystems.com.